Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. Also, please subscribe to the channel for more labs like this. In this lab, we are going to do some important device management tasks, including password recovery, configuration backup, and operating system upgrading. First, we are locked out of R1. Someone else configured an enable password and forgot it, so we can't enter privileged exec mode, and thus can't enter global configuration mode to change the password. So, how can we solve this? We have to use the ROM monitor command line, aka ROMMON. To enter ROMMON, reset the router, and then press Control break before it finishes booting. To do that in Packet Tracer, click on R1, and under the Physical tab here, flick the power switch off and on, then switch to the CLI and press Control break There we are. We're now in ROMMON. The next step in password recovery is to change the configuration register to make R1 start up and ignore the startup configuration in NVRAM and start up with a default configuration. Then we will enter privilege exec mode without needing a password, copy the startup config to the running config to make it active, and then change the password and save the configuration again. So to change the configuration register from Raman, use this command, conf reg, and to make it ignore the contents of NVRAM, type 0x2142. Then type reset to reset the router. There we go. R1 has now booted, ignoring the startup config. Enable. See, no password was needed. Now that we are safely in privilege exec mode, I'll copy the startup config to the running config. Copy, start, run. As you can see, the hostname has changed to R1, as the startup config is now the running config. Let's change the password to CCNA. Conf T, enable secret CCNA. I'll also enable the G00 interface. Interface G00, no shut. Now, it's important to restore the configuration register to its default, so it doesn't always ignore the startup config when booting up. Exit. Uh, from ROMMON, we used the confreg command. But from the regular CLI, use config register. And the default setting is 0x2102. Exit. Now let's save the configuration. Right. Step two is to back up R1 startup configuration to our server TFTP1. First, I'll ping it to make sure it's reachable. Ping 192.168.1.100. Okay, looks good. To copy the configuration to a TFTP server, use this command. Copy startup config TFTP. Now it asks us the IP address, 192.168.1.100. And the file name, let's accept the default. There we go. I'll go on TFTP1 to check if it's there. Click on the server and packet tracer, click services, and then click TFTP. There it is. R1 config. We have successfully backed up R1 startup configuration. The final step is to upgrade R1's iOS image to a newer version, which is on our TFTP server. First, let's check the iOS version on R1. Show version. Here it says the version, C2900 software, version 15.14 M4. And down here is the image file. Now let's find the new image on TFTP1.
Here it is, the C2900 image, and it's version 15.53, indeed a newer version. I'll copy the name with Control C. Now let's go back to R1. I want to copy the file from the TFTP server to flash storage, so copy TFTP flash. Enter the IP address, 192.168.1.100, and then paste the file name. Great, we've copied the image from TFTP to flash. Let's check. Show flash. Now there are two iOS images in flash. Let's delete the old one. I'll copy the file name here, then delete it with this command. Delete flash colon, and then paste the file name. Okay, show flash. Now we only have one iOS image on flash. Let's reload the router so it uses the new iOS version. Reload. Okay, R1 has booted up. Enable. Okay, now let's check the iOS version. Show version. There we go. We're using the new iOS version, and here's the new image file. Okay, in this lab, we performed password recovery, configuration backup, and an iOS upgrade. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave verified publisher and accept BAT or basic attention token donations in the Brave browser.